This is Uncle Billy. What are you listening to? You listen to an old Soviet song. And I was zooming in on a star up there on top of that clock. Those are Soviet symbols. As a matter of fact, it's a little out of my range, but there's a there's a Soviet flag flying over one of the buildings back there in the back. There's a bunch of Americans, and I know some good people, the smart people, that tell me that Putin is putting the Soviet Union back together. And this is the kind of evidence that people are putting out to, to try to make people believe that. Uh, what are they supposed to do? They were Soviet for 70 years. They defeated Nazi Germany as Soviets. That's interesting. Uh, it's part of their history, and they don't they don't try to make it disappear or deny it. There's forces that try to get them to do it. There's American NGOs that were all over the place in the Soviet Union collapse, especially in the Baltics, uh, getting them, convince them to pull down the uh, monuments, getting them to uh, you know tear down the Lenin statues and all that stuff. It's part of their history, but uh, you know all this anti-Russian stuff is what it is wanting to erase history. They're erasing history in the U.S. too. They don't want you to sing certain songs. They don't want you to have monuments to Confederate uh, generals and stuff. Ooh, that's terrible. No, that's how you look at it. It's part of your history. African Americans used to be slaves and they should be proud they overcame that and they've dealt with it. Uh, you know, why, why erase it? <laughs> what, are you going to say it didn't happen now? Really? It's part of who you are. Just like the Soviet Union is part of who they are. The Soviet army, the Russian army, still uses the Soviet flag as one of their flags. Well, that's evidence that they're trying to put the Soviet Union back together. You know, and you go down south and you visit the little conventions of the Daughters of the Confederacy and all these other little groups. You know, it's kind of like a communist party in the in, in the Russia. They don't have uh, much more political power than that. They, they have a candidate they run for president and he gets some of the vote and a lot of old people are nostalgic well there's they they they, they took the atheist plank plank out of their platform they've changed a lot uh, it's not the same thing what they taught you in school the communist war was a bunch of propaganda anyway it's not what they said it was it wasn't good but you know you need some central planning to protect you from the depredations of oligarchs and corporations and billionaires U.S. doesn't have that anymore. They're running your country. How's it going for you? So anyway, to say that they're putting the Soviet Union back together is patently ridiculous. It's like saying, uh, you know, some states still have elements of the Confederate flag in their state flags. They took it out of, uh, I think Alabama was the most blatant and they made them change it, if I remember correctly, back a long time ago. Arkansas still has some elements. It kind of looks like one. It's a diamond instead of a cross. You know, but you could you could see it in there. You know, oh my God, they're bringing slavery back. Really, it's kind of absurd, isn't it? It's, it's absurd to say they're putting the Soviet Union get back together. They couldn't if they wanted to, even if the political architecture is still intact. They couldn't do it. Let me tell you one more time. I've said it many times. I'm going to say it again. Any controls via government that is uh, uh, against billionaires and corporations it's not socialism <laughs> it's not instilling communism by controlling oligarchs and uh, corporations from devouring you you might want to think about that oh, anyway uh, this is just gonna be a short one short and sweet Uncle Bildy signing out Oh, I wish I was in Dixie, away, away, in Dixieland, I'll take my stand to live and die, Dixie. Yeah, that's real racist, isn't it? Do I want to enslave black people? Come on!